It's well known that southern resident killer whales feed almost exclusively on Chinook salmon. So as the orca population struggles, it's been blamed on the lack of fish for them to eat. But a new study at UBC has found that to be untrue. The presumption has been, uh, for many people, I think they're starving because there's not enough food for them in the Salish Sea. And so, but no one's ever gone to test that. It's been such a well-believed theory that researchers have even tried feeding Chinook to southern resident orcas directly. The UBC surveys were done in hot spot feeding areas where they know orcas concentrate, and their comparison was with northern resident killer whales. The northern resident killer whales are four times more abundant, they're increasing, and so in theory, they've got more food than the southerns do. And what we found was the opposite. Uh, there's twice as many fish available to southerns as there is to northerns in the summertime when they are typically here in the Salish Sea. So now the attention turns to two things, like what's happening to them when they're not here, when they're in California, for example, during the winter. We tend to not think much about southern residents when they're not here. Well, they're not here for most of the year. And very little research, if any, is being done in the winter time or the spring time and early summer. And so we need to look there as well. What we suspect is that the southern residents have brought their problems with them. They're not being caused here. But now that we know there is enough Chinook salmon for them to eat here, it's suspected that increased ship traffic could be making it harder for them to hunt for salmon.